Sagittarius, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you guys today. Yeah. Looking at your current energy, the desire, outcome. What's working for you, what you need to be aware of. <clears throat> that said, we'll clarify all those cards, and then at the end, we will pull three more cards around the read just to make sure that we have everything that you may require. So let's get started, Sagittarius. See where you guys are sitting. Current energy, six of swords. Uh, maybe things are finally smoothing out for you. The desire, three of pentacles. Uh, this is putting effort in, uh, possibly with somebody, and making things happen. The outcome, <clears throat> ten of cups, so a commitment of some sort. Eight of Wands is what's working for you, is things are finally moving quickly. And what you need to be aware of is the Five of Pentacles, which talks about the fear of uh, hardship, the possibility of losing something. But interesting in that card, it's right there. Everything is right there. So let's go through. Cards are falling out all over the place. <clears throat> so, with the Six of Swords, we have the Judgment card, the Five of Wands, and the Strength card. I feel that for some of you, things are going better, but you're still reluctant to show exactly who you are and what your true inner desires are to someone um there's like i don't know if you're fighting with yourself or somebody but there takes that strength to actually be authentic with that <clears throat> the three of pentacles in the desire we have the queen of cups the lovers and the two of cups so yes in this desire is this desire to work on an a relationship and a life together with somebody uh, the two of cups and the lovers where you feel immersed in sort of the bliss that those things can bring it's the first time I've seen the lovers and the two of cups side by side beautiful uh, the ten of cups is the outcome the outcome being a commitment Ten of Cups talks about um, happy spouse, happy house. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles clarifies this. And this feels like work about working together or looking forward to the future where you both are feeling, you know, content, happy, uh, where you don't, there's not much to worry about, but there's still this uncertainty with the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> this Eight of Wands is what's working for you. Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, the Star. Things start to move quickly for you. It does create some anxiety because, um, I kind of get that it wasn't expected that things move quickly and there are still hopes and dreams that you that are part of it that there's this sort of sense of I don't know how I want to put it this sense of loss that you weren't prepared to get over? The Five of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant, which also speaks to a possible marriage. The Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Guarding against loss is what you need to be aware of. Um, because there's more to be had 
there is more to be had when you learn what you have is more than enough. There's more to be had when you learn to let go of those types of fears. <clears throat> it could also be that you need to know that you are enough with the Nine of Pentacles here. Maybe that's it for some of you is that you don't feel like you're enough, especially for this relationship. And maybe that's what this Eight of Swords is about, that you need to learn that you are more than enough. <clears throat> the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel, and the Three of Wands shows up as the final three cards. Sorry, Seven of Cups, the World, yeah, and the Three of Wands. There's uncertainty with the opportunities that are around you. There's uncertainty with the things that you want to create. But it seems like for some of you, you're getting a taste of what that looks like with the Three of Wands, where you're having that sort of progression, where you can see like, hey, I can see a bit of this Seven of Pentacles. I can see a bit of that future where I can walk joyfully into it. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. And for those that have not subscribed yet, I would invite you to do so. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.